Well, here we are, day 32 on the slide-in camper. Uh, it's turned out very nice. I'm going to give you a walkthrough. We got quite a bit done since the last video. Uh, just going to kind of show you everything on it. Got this little hook here to hang my backpack on or clothing. Got a pull-up bar. Mounted my AC unit in there really nicely. Everything's trimmed out nice. I got outside plug-ins right here. Uh, you never know, you might need to use it for something. Uh, a fillet knife or whatever. I've got a cord deal here to pull your cord up in. I'm going to replace this cord with a self-winding cord. And that's the way I'm going to do them. Two solar lights here that come on uh, in the evening. They're really nice and bright. Uh, going around here, got my windows installed. And... Uh, Gonna put a window right here, like a 12 by 32 window there, or 30 inch window. And uh, everything is nicely coated with the rhino liner and painted the green to green. I still got a little bit of trimming on my paint to straighten the edges up on it, but that's not no big deal. It's waiting for a nice day to do it. And uh, anyway, my green's not as green as I wanted it, but I'm gonna go back and touch it up also. So uh, let's take a look on the inside here. I think you're going to be really amazed. My girlfriend Tracy made me some nice mossy oak uh, DNA curtains. And uh, this right here, it comes with a screen here also, a screen door. So you can shut or open it. Very nice. I'm going to replace this window with a, uh, right, a window with a built-in shade right here. This will have a screen window in it with a built-in shade that's tinted. I like it better than a frost. But you can see we got some nice uh, mossy oak curtains and bedspreads in here. And uh, and they're all closed off right now. But uh, got my countertops done. Uh, got my table pedestal put in. I've got some flooring to do right there. I'm about 95% with this project. I got my drain in my floor for my shower. I've got to come in and clean this up better and recoat the flooring a little bit. This here, uh, let me flip the light on. This right here is just a garbage bag hanging out. We're going to get a regular trash can to fit this. And uh, say you see my drain right there is where you can take your shower. And I put this dividing board out so not let any water run back in here. This is completely sealed off. Right over here, you got your porta potty. It's just a bucket. And I put a foam cushion on it really nice it, to me it's just easier to clean out a bucket than it is a porta potty so uh i can get a porta potty if you know if it might make it look nicer if somebody wants one uh this drawer right here it's just a i did a nice pull out drawer uh it's got plenty of room silver for silverware plates paper plates i made a big nice deep and i keep my orange skillet in here now under here uh, there's also this here lifts up it lifts up in three places there and that's where I keep my electric stove that I can plug in here and I could insert a propane model and put a tank on the back later I might do that but I kind of like this countertop open where I can use it for other things and uh, okay these cushions remove here and uh, this here removes also and this all lets down into a bed Made a nice tabletop with a pedestal here, as you can see over here, the same thing. Got my sink installed. This is all I'm using to heat this with, and you can get these at Lowe's for like, you know, $29. And then this little AC unit with a remote control is really nice. It's going to keep it very cool in here. Uh, you know, when I designed this camper, what I've done is, is I put in, I made it simple. I've got a plug in here for the stove so you didn't have to run a bunch of plumbing for stoves and gas and worry about gas leaks i wanted i like that old phrase keep it simple stupid so it's easier just to put one of those in replace it one day other than have to mess with furnaces and expensive furnaces and because it, it's it's more than enough heat uh and then you know i got a little night light here got a plug in here you see we got one plug in two plug ins I got a plug in over here for like your cell phone and that bed is very nice. And uh, I got another plug in on this side for your hot plate. 
So it's basically got one, two, three, four plug-ins in on the inside and one on the outside, five, more than enough. And I've got this nice low profile, profile light right here in the top, and you can adjust it if you want it brighter or lighter. I built my cabinets just pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to put some netting in here to keep stuff from falling out. That, that eliminates the weight of oak cabinets and all that. Put some low profile lights in here. And I got a remote, and at night, those all four lights will come on with this remote right here. And uh, it's, it's just that easy uh, to turn them on, as you can see right there. All four lights come on at the same time, and they'll all go off at the same time. Just hit your button right there, and it looks amazing in here at night with the color contrast. I did put up some hat hangers here. Everybody needs a place to put their hat, their little light at night uh and i've got one on each side like i said this here makes down into a bed here and you just you just take your table top off it's a pedestal table it just it just un, don't have anybody to hold my phone or i'd take it apart for you but i'm going to mount it permanently down once i put some nice flooring down i'm going to put some rustic uh flooring down looks like old barn wood flooring and uh, everything's turned out nicely. Uh, over here, I got a big compartment here in the back. Once this comes up, I'll show that to you later. It's got three compartments underneath there. Uh, it's big enough I can put like lawn chairs and stuff in there. And uh, I got that new DNA camouflage. It, is, it looks really nice. Uh, I don't think the video gives it justice to how nice it really looks. But anyway... Uh, it's, it's looking very well in here. I'm going to be well pleased with it. Oh, I also put some little lights here. Just when there's not any power on, I've got one on each side of the door here. So when I walk in and it's not plugged up, then, uh, then you know, I will be able to, uh, to have some light in here. Okay, I'm going to back off a little bit so you can see the back door. Uh, it's all you need. You don't need a gigantic trailer to pull up and down the road unless you got a lot of people going with you. You know, this is plenty big for two or three, even up to four people. Uh, two people could sleep up there very comfortable, two adults. A kid could sleep down here, or two adults could sleep down here. It does need one more cushion laying across there to make the bed wider. We thought we'd just throw a sleeping bag in there for now, but I may go ahead and get a cushion made here. We start custom build, building these. We could get these covered in any color. Like I was thinking of mossy oak uh, covering these, the cushions and the cushions for the bed also in mossy oak. Trim this all out right here real nicely with the same trim. It all matches very nicely. I'm going to turn this light off. It's a little bright in here. And then I'm going to flip these lights on to kind of show you what it looks like. You know very nice in here at night i mean when you flip the, those things on and uh let me go back the other way and look at it show you i mean you flip those four on and those just holds like triple a batteries no wiring required you know led lights is gonna last like 10 20 years so i mean no maintenance on them other than maybe changing your batteries out maybe once a month that's not no big deal this they just uh they basically unscrew, you know. You just unscrew them, and they just pop right off, and you just uh, put new batteries in them. And uh, I've had these for a while. I really do like them. No problem. You just can't forget and leave them on. You, you know, run your batteries down. You don't want to do that all the time. Just hit your remote, and they all go right off. And they got this nice little night light that comes on in the dark. As you can see here. And uh, that comes on in the dark when it's dark enough. I hide the light there but anyway uh this is mainly rigged up for all electric i didn't rig up any 12 volt systems uh to me i didn't want to carry around a heavy battery i didn't want to walk out there one day and my battery's dead on my truck because i've ran everything off my 12 volt system you know 12 volts okay if you if you keep the maintenance up but i just didn't want all the wiring and stuff I tried to keep the price down, keep the cost down, because everything is very expensive. Uh, trim this all out up here. 
my ideal is I'm going to carry a little small generator and most campsites that I go to, I'm going to plug right in. Most of them, you know, 15, 10, 15, 20 dollars a night. You can plug in with their electric and water also. Also, the water container down here, I didn't show you that. I still got to put a, a pump right here. There's a pump. It'll be a faucet that's got a built-in pump in it. I've already seen them on, I think, uh, Amazon. I'm going to order one of those and install it. You just push the pump and you get water. And, it, and a, tu a tube runs in down here. Uh, I made this where it latches, where you can take out your garbage. I'm going to put a garbage can here. You know, you need a place for garbage. I bought these two six-gallon tanks right here at, like, uh, Academy Sports. So I got 12 gallon and it's got a tube. It runs off there. It goes right in there. And the, and the thing up here that you push has an automatic pump on it. So that's what I'm going to install with that. I hadn't done that yet. So uh, that's going to be pretty nice. I made this where it just shuts like that. So, uh, and for taking a shower, they make a one with a pump on it. So my idea is to heat the water up so I don't have to mess with a hot water heater. Heat the water up on my little stove that I'm going to have here. Take it and pour it in here. And then push my little one in here at the pump and you can take a hot shower. And so that'll hold probably three or four gallon. That's plenty to take a shower. And uh, so uh, you just soap up and clean off. And that's my idea on the shower. I may... Y'all can... Uh, you know, y'all can give me a little feedback on that, what you think. But I'm thinking it's not going to be much trouble just to heat up a bucket of water to put in here when you get ready for a shower. That saves you from having a tank that you got to drain and maintenance on a tank, a hot water heater to buy, and all this and all that. You already have a burner here. It's not like you're going to be here. I guess if you was going to live in this thing, you know, uh, around, you know, all year long, you might want to go ahead and install your hot water heater but. I'm mainly going to use this for weekend camping trips, trips here and there, and out on the road selling my mineral. And I can, I, I don't have any problem with heating up a bucket of water, pouring it in there. But I did see those on uh, uh, Amazon. It's just a little, it's a, it's a spray, uh, like a shower spray nozzle that runs down in here. It's got a little pump on it, battery operated pump, and you just turn it on. It's good for like hours of spraying. Uh, but anyway. Uh, going back outside and, uh, you know, like I say, these have a screen door on them. You just push this knob. You pull this back to get to your regular knob and it has a deadbolt lock also. I bought this installment. You know, it's just a regular one for RVs. You push that and you push this down and your screen door comes out all at the same time. Stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and when I get it, 100% done with the jacks on the outside and everything. Uh, my ideal here on the outside uh, for taking it on and off, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna put a metal plate. Run, it runs all the way down through here. And I'm going to put a pin system, kind of like a receiver on a hitch. There's going to be four of them, one on each corner, where these uh, jacks will go straight into there. It'll just be a crank jack. And it'll have a pin through each corner where you can take them off when you're done with it. Because really, once you get it up in the air, you only move it a few inches to get it back your truck. And you might as well just take the jacks off. And so you can just unpin them so you're not carrying all that weight up and down the road. And I'm not going to go with electric jacks because electric jacks are very expensive. You know, you can easily spend $1,500, $2,000 rigging up electric jacks with... Uh, you know, with the, all the stuff you got to have. And then you got to have your 12-volt system and this and that. And it, to me, it's just not going to be worth it. I don't mind coming out here cranking all, all four corners to get it up. Might take you 10 minutes and bam, you're done with it. And and if you don't like the cranking method, you can take them off. And, and I've seen them take like a torque wrench and with the battery and they can run it up there and they can, you can automatically push it in where that crank is. And... You push the 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 tool that you have, the battery operated tool, and you can raise it up and down if you don't want to mess with the cranking. But I don't mind cranking it a few times on each corner to save all that money and time. But uh, I made this camper simple. 
you know, to go out on the road. And uh, I do have a luggage rack going to go on the top. think it's going to make it look nice. It's only going to be about six, eight inches tall. I hadn't decided on the, the tall. I don't want to go too tall down the road. And there will be a ladder installed here, aluminum ladder. I'm going to paint it black and everything will be aluminum where if I want to put some more luggage up there. But the great thing about the drain in the floor is it doesn't have a refrigerator in it. And I was going to tell you that earlier. I would, me personally hunting, I would rather have a cooler that I can remove a nice cooler. You know, you got so many nice coolers now and just keep it right there in the floor. And if I want to drain it, I can drain it right in here in the floor if I want to. And it's going to run outside and rinse it out. And I would prefer to just take my cooler out. Now, I do plan to put a nice little wildlife rug or something in here to just put over this so no air is blowing up through the vent. But uh, tell me what you think about it so far. I'm very, uh, I'm very happy with it. It's simple. Uh, put my mind on this for a long time. Uh, this is the second one I've built. Uh, last one I used for about five years. It's been about 15 years ago I had it, and I've missed it ever since. So it's time to have another one. This one here is currently not for sale. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to use it. But if somebody wants one, you know, just hit me up and we'll see what, what kind of price we can come up with and uh, get you one made. I know you're going to enjoy it for years and years to come. And please don't uh, forget to hit that subscribe button. It's really helping us out. And and tell me if you like this video or not. And tell me if it's been he helpful to you. I'm, uh, I'm trying to do the best I can with what I got. And uh, we'll talk to you later.